So it's uh, October 11th and uh, the wind is actually really blowing today. So I decided to take a little bit of video of the wind turbine and some of the output that it's putting out. Let's go check it out in the power station and see what kind of output we're getting. So, looks like we're getting around 450 watts, 500 watts. Looks like in the last 24 hours we've made 3 kilowatt hours. So, not doing too bad. Looks like it's, uh, kicking up pretty good now um, to a thousand watts and my other inverter just kicked on what happens is the first inverter it'll kick on um, when you uh, start selling and then what happens is after you get over about 800 watts the second inverter will kick on and it'll start selling too um, looks like it kicked off again but it looks like we're selling over a thousand watts for a little while and on this on the mate uh, right there where it says zero uh, we're actually selling 100 watts and we're buying let's see so this is on the backup panel so we're not buying anything actually so everything we're using in the house we're producing right now, which is great. There it goes. It's funny because I can listen to how it sounds and I can near about tell you how many watts it's putting out. And right now, it's putting out between about, I would say, 600, between 500 and 900. Okay, now it's up to 1,000 watts at least. Okay, now it's back down to about, okay. Once it starts making that little whistling sound, you know, it's getting up to upwards of a thousand watts or higher. It's kind of, kind of neat to be able to listen to it and tell how much it's putting out.
Oh yeah. It's up to a thousand at least. I've seen the turbine get up to 3,500 watts um, sustained for several minutes and um, it's pretty impressive. They rate it for 2.5 and to get an extra thousand out of it is pretty good in my opinion. Um, better than your Air X or um, some of the other turbines that are out there. But before, um, before I got the, the FM80 Outback controller, um, when it was blowing like this, even in winds of 30 miles an hour, I was only getting about 800 watts out of it because um, there was no way to multi-power point track that uh, output that it was putting out. But once I got to Outback, uh, the Outback FM80 has made all the difference in the amount of output. So I'm really glad that Outback finally came out with that modified FM80 for ARE. So I'm going to take you down here and show you my new Kyocera panels that I got the other day. And um, I got 12 Kyocera panels. Oh, and here's my 62 Chrysler. Not bad. I've been meaning to fix it up, but uh, haven't had the time. Because <laughs> it's been taken up by putting in all this renewable energy stuff. Pretty exciting. So here's the frame that I'm making. Just welded it up, and uh, basically this is going to hold six Kyocera panels. Here are my panels right here. They they're pretty big. Um, they're pretty much comparable to to the Evergreen Solar 190s. Um, these are the uh, Kyocera 205, 205 watt. So, I had 12 of them, and um, so anyway, this is the Kyoceros. <laughs> 